Hey, this is Doug Van Pelt, Heaven's Metal Video Podcast. Today I'm going to talk about this DVD I just saw and reviewed, Scorpions Forever in a Day. The Scorpions are easily one of the best metal bands of all time. They're an international metal band. And this documentary is about their farewell three-year tour that's been extended to keep carrying on. I saw them on one stop of the supposed farewell tour at the start of that thing, and I hope to see them one more time before they depart. But this uh, documentary covers the band's entire career. It goes all the way back to the 60s. They were actually a band then. Um, they weren't that great back then. And the first heir of the Scorpions had this guy named Yuli John Roth. And I think he's one of the three best living guitar players alive. Who are the other two? Frank Marino and Michael Shanker. Anyway, that's my opinion. You know, everybody's got one. But uh, that era of the Scorpions was amazing, and that's when I first got into them, the Tokyo Tapes album, and just hearing his guitar was amazing. But um, it goes through that era, and then it goes through the era that they're in now, which was like the second big chapter um, when Matthias Jabs joined. Actually, Michael Shanker joined for a while and co-wrote some of the songs on Love Drive, and then Matthias joined. And this documentary kind of focuses on the Love Drive, Animal Magnetism, and Blackout era, which I think is their strongest era, and I think Animal Magnetism is probably their best album, except the, the two recent ones that I'll talk about if I get a chance to, because I'm like an evangelist for those two albums. They're just amazing. Anyway, uh, so this band um, has stayed true to their roots. They've avoided the trap of drugs, which is pretty cool. We didn't see members of the Scorpions die uh, from overdosing, which was awesome. Uh, they stayed positive in a negative world. That's what they did, yep. Um, so this is a cool documentary. It had lots of concert footage and all, all that and whatnot. In 2004, out of nowhere, uh, they released an album called Unbreakable. It blew my mind because it sounded like the Scorpions right after Animal Magnetism, like doing what they do best. And they just knocked it out of the park. It's a killer album. Um, the first couple songs aren't that great, but everything else on that album is just smoking hot. It's amazing. And the follow-up to that, I didn't kind of get right away because it seemed like a uh, formulaic, anthemic formula album. But now I've fallen in love with that and probably even like it better. It's called Humanity Hour One. It's just amazing. One of the songs on Unbreakable I want to talk about sounds like it could have been lifted from a Striper album. And I mean musically with the giant wall of harmonies. Can you feel it? Is what they say. I'm not even trying to sing it. And it's talking about an overwhelming sense of peace that overcomes you. It's a freaking song about somebody who finds God. There, it's not blatant. It's kind of esoteric. So you can kind of draw your own conclusions. But that song could be on any Striper album, lyrically or musically. Anyway, that's my little tidbit for now, the Scorpions. Um, I kind of gave up on the Scorpions in 83 when I came back to the Lord and their uh, Sting, uh, the Rocky Like a Hurricane song was just so disgusting to me. I just kind of wasn't too into that lyrically. So I kind of let them go by, but uh, still always appreciated what they do. I think they're a great band. And there's my Scorpions rant. How about that? Till next time, see ya.